Gay conservative reacts to the butt stuff yard sign controversy. This clip from Cairo 7 of him explaining <laughs> what he's being accused of. Your sign said that I like it in the butt. Uh, really? My neighbor says I like butt stuff. I mean, that's funny. <laughs> A man put up an LGBTQIA2S++ happy face emoji community <laughs> flag up outside of his home. He's not a part of the community at all. He's just oh. a straight guy who wants extra points for supporting the gay community. He's an ally. One of his, yeah, we got it, you're all allies. His neighbor <laughs> didn't really like this, and so she put up a sign. And you see it on the screen now. It is a butt that is Covered in the pride number of yeah. uh, uh, colors, and it says, My neighbor likes butt stuff. And it's caused a big controversy in the neighborhood where everyone's taking the side of the man with the pride flag and claiming that this woman is a bully. Can I just say both sides are equally annoying? Both One's side, funny. Both sides are One annoying. One is funny. We can acknowledge the butt <laughs> stuff is funny. That Okay, at least he can acknowledge that it is pretty damn funny. So this is Jake and Jason. Jason is a gay conservative. You can check them out on AM 770 KTTH. That's funny, come on. And this poor guy, listen to this clip from Cairo 7 of him explaining <laughs> what he's being accused of. Your sign said that I like it in the butt. Uh, really? My neighbor says I like butt stuff. I mean, that's funny. Come on, that's a good troll. I think it's just funny that it's on a Cairo 7. I love this. I know. <laughs> the poor reporter like, to write that up. Yeah, yeah, it was the top story of the night on the evening news. Like, <laughs> is there anything else better to talk about? You're, I got to do a story on butt stuff. That's hilarious. <laughs> um, the guy is, is annoying for putting up the flag outside of June because I do honestly think the people who do this are purely virtue signaling. Yeah, so we created this yard sign back in June during Pride Month as something to put up instead of just an American flag. The woman who's upset about the flag, get over it. It's just a flag. Why is it? Who cares? It's not ruining her day. It really know? isn't. All and the butt stuff yard sign wasn't ruining the other guy's day either. It's all freedom of speech, right? And I agree with that. No flag should be taken down, no matter what it says. But the virtue signaling handlebar mustache man that put out the LGBTQ flag is the hero in this situation. And the homeowner that put up the butt stuff sign is the bully. He's the hero for having a flag up that talks about people's sexual preferences and is associated with a lot of wacky ideas on the left. One of the biggest critiques about the rainbow flag and the community is that they have an entire month when our fallen soldiers get one day. Regardless, it's freedom of speech. You have the right to put up a flag, put up a yard sign. Although, if Although her response was well, funny. Well, over the top, at least it has a sense of humor. Yeah, I kind of, I yeah. appreciate that. I mean, you know. I this wasn't the only yard sign that we created during Pride Month. We also have I identify as American, LGBTQ, let's get Biden to quit. Biden was still running back then. My pronouns are Trump 2024 and straight pride. If gay is OK, then straight is great. I like comedy where everybody kind of everything's fair game when you're making yeah, jokes. And you know what? Maybe she's a member of the LGBTQ2IS+. Plus Maybe plus that's community. the double joke. And that's what she's upset about is. I've been in contact with the homeowner that put up the butt stuff yard sign that they bought from my store. They want to stay anonymous. They want their information to stay private. And I can understand why, because they're being looked at as bigots or homophobic. When in reality, the Cairo 7 news station went out to this home to harass the homeowner. People in the community complained about the sign who's really being bullied in this situation handlebar mustache man that put up the lgbtq flag or the neighbor that put up the butt stuff troll sign when we got to the home friday evening the sign was lying on the ground but the owner took it away as we tried to talk to her hi there can we talk to you neighbors like mike peterson feel like the sign shouldn't have been up at all. Is that there's some straight dude over there pretending to be all about the cause? I don't know what Doesn't she's even into. Watch RuPaul's Drag Race. Some people like feet. I don't know, but <laughs> okay. it's funny. It's a funny story. <laughs> it's a ridiculous story. Butt stuff and feet stuff. We'll see you next time. I'll say this, there's been a lot of comments from the gay community about the butt stuff yard sign, and it's overwhelmingly positive. They think it's funny. They think it's a troll. The pride flag literally represents sexual preferences. 
Two gay men, that's what they do in the bedroom. I'm not sure why calling attention to that fact is considered bullying or hateful. A lot of comments also say that the neighbor should have kept up the butt stuff sign, defended their freedom of speech, and not caved in to the bullying. But that's the world we're living in right now, especially over in Washington. You put up a gay pride flag and you are the hero of the community. You poke fun at the flag and you are the scum of the earth. You get cameras put in your face, you get complaints to news media, and you're no longer allowed to have conservative values. That's why many Americans simply put up an American flag and leave it at that. They don't want to create waves. That's why we are the silent majority. If you want to stand against bullying and censorship against the right, check out conservativevibes.com. We have a lot of products to troll the left. Anyway, what do you think about a butt stuff yard sign next to someone flying a pride flag? Too far or not far enough? Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to Conservative Vibes. I'm CV and I'll see you in the next video.